Hello, this is Russell Moore, and this is One Thing You Missed. There were two events that happened over the last uh, week or so uh, that actually, I think, have a lot to do with each other. One of them was the anniversary of the death of C.S. Lewis, who died on November the 22nd, 1963, same day as the death of uh, President John F. Kennedy. And the other is the release of a new movie starring Tom Hanks, a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood about uh, the life of Fred Rogers and his interaction with a journalist. I actually think those two things are related, at least in my life, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I hear from a lot of kids, especially kids who grew up in really difficult situations, about how meaningful Fred Rogers was uh, for them. And there seems to be a common thread, and the common thread is that they... Um, they were drawn to Mr. Rogers because he took them seriously and because he talked to them um, in a way that could connect with their concerns. So he would talk about, you can't, um, you can't go down the bathtub drain, uh, for instance, or all sorts of fears that, that kids would have, but he took them seriously and, and treated them seriously. Um, for me, I think a very similar thing happened with C.S. Lewis. I have uh, right over my shoulder here a map that I keep uh, on the wall over me of the land of Narnia. Uh, it's a fictional world and yet not really fictional in, in many ways to me because when I was going through a really, really difficult spiritual crisis as a 15-year-old and wondering if Christianity, if it's just um, a way that people were using to perpetuate Southern culture and a political agenda. Started to wonder if it was really real. And I realized that what I was experiencing wasn't doubt as much as it was fear. Uh, I was genuinely afraid that maybe the universe was what it seemed to be, red in tooth and claw and meaningless. And uh, with with the absence or the possible absence of Jesus, I didn't want to live in a world like that. Thankfully, uh, my mother had read to me The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe when I was a very small child. And then when I was old enough to read, I read all of uh, the Chronicles of Narnia. And what I found in those books is something that Neil Gaiman, uh, the author, said later. It seemed as though these were reports from a real place. So when I saw that name C.S. Lewis on the spine of a book in the bookstore, Mere Christianity, uh, I gave him a chance. And in reading that, I think that book is what the Lord used to save my faith. And it's not because of the arguments. I didn't need arguments. I, I didn't need cognitive syllogisms as to why Christianity was true. I knew all of that. What I needed was that tone of voice that came through that book that very clearly, uh, very clearly communicated to me, this is somebody who's not trying to sell me anything. This is somebody who doesn't have a political agenda or a cultural agenda or a personal agenda. This is somebody who is bearing witness to something that he knows to be true. He's delivering, as he would put it elsewhere, news from a far country uh, a country that we've never visited. And in that, uh, I think I realized that the picture of Narnia that he was building, a picture of Narnia in which that, uh, that life that seems to be always winter and never Christmas is undone by a lion who gave himself at a stone table. That's not a neighborhood of make-believe. That's pointing to something beyond itself, something that's real and something that's true. He threw that out there into the universe, just as Mr. Rogers came out every week and talked to children whose faces he could never see, didn't know. But there was an integrity to both of those men that I think was obvious and something to which we should aspire. This is Russell Moore. This has been One Thing You Missed, and I'll be back in a week or two, and I'll have more ideas for you, and you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will, too.